Hey y'all, so we're gonna get right into the video. First, I already cleaned her face off camera. We're going in with the Bobbi Brown primer to put all over her face. Now we're going in with foundation. I want a little um, more full coverage on the foundation just so I can cover up all of the like the red marks on her face. So I did put more foundation than usual. Remember I said in the last video when you do light skin girls, you gotta try to match their neck instead of their face because their face is usually lighter than their neck. And another thing, since she had a ponytail, I did go with the foundation brush. I didn't put any extra foundation, but I did go over her ears so everything could be seamless and a little down her neck. Now I'm using a damp beauty blender just to blend out the foundation more. Now I'm placing the concealer in her T-zone. All of the products that I use will be in the description below. I'm placing the highlight shade of the concealer for that bright eye effect. I try to avoid that halo eyebrow so I don't put concealer over the whole eyebrow, but I just go in the center just so it can have a, a more clean look. I'm starting to blend the chin first. I always blend the under eye last so the concealer can get tacky. Now I'm going in with the back of my beauty blender with leftover foundation just to blend out those edges. When you blend out the under eye with the brush, it gives a more full coverage look. I start with the edges first and then I work my way in. Now I'm going in with pink liquid blush. Again, the products will be listed below. I added more of that highlight concealer just to blend out the under eye for a bright under eye effect. Using the Laura Mercier translucent powder with the powder puff to set her under eye. I did not bake because she has dry skin and I didn't want to dry out her under eyes. Now I'm going down her nose with a wedge sponge with that same Laura Mercier translucent powder. With leftover translucent powder from my powder puff, I'm just setting her forehead. I don't like to use a lot of translucent powder on the forehead because I don't like that bright halo look under on the top.
When I conceal the brows, I like going in with the highlight shade. Now I'm taking a brush to blend the concealer out. Then I go in with a light amount of Laura Mercier translucent powder just to set the concealer under the eyebrow. Now I'm contouring her nose with a contour powder. Um, I didn't, I usually go all the way down the nose, but I didn't this time. I wanted to have a more natural look. Reinforcing that powder that got lost on her face. Now I'm placing that same contour powder in her crease on both sides, blending it out. On top, I use a eyeshadow that's close to white, just to give it a soft look. She didn't want a wing, so I didn't add a wing. Now I'm going in with contour on the side of her cheeks. Put in that same Laura Mercier powder underneath just so I can bake and it can be clean. Now I'm going in with blush on top of that contour and bronzer. I use MAC Studio Powder in the shade NC42 around her face. And then I'm just pressing in that powder and dusting it away under the eye. And I went in with MAC NC35 for the bright under eye. Now I'm cleaning the eyeshadow on the sides. That's MAC Cork Lip Liner. Um, the lip products will be in the description below. I like to overline lips, but I accidentally made a mistake and made her lips too wide on the side. So now what you see me doing is cleaning it up with the concealer that's closer to her skin tone. Using that same eyeshadow that's in her crease, I'm going in and smoking out her under eye. Now I'm going in with the eyeliner in her waterline. Mm -hmm. 
silver highlight in her tear ducts. She is so pretty, but she really don't know how to take pictures for real. So at the end, we didn't get like a video. So I'm almost done. This is like the full look. Thanks for watching. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're in Chicago, book an appointment.